I'll show you the easiest way to create custom CSS bullets. The property list style image does the heavy lifting. It's that easy, but adjusting the size and position is not. First, let's set up our HTML list. We'll need an unordered list tag, UL, and that will wrap a few list items, LI. We need text, so let's add all the planets. Sorry, Pluto. What you see is the default bullet style. We want to change these black dots to the left of each list item to a custom design. SVG icons make great bullets. I'll grab an SVG from my list item collection, which has some freebies. Link in the description. I export as CSS, but if you end up with SVG code, you can run it through a SVG to CSS converter. Link in the description. I paste the code as the image source. Sweet! We got hearts instead of those default disk bullets. If we want to make these bigger, we can do so by changing the font size. To target the bullet size only, apply the font size to the marker by specifying list item marker as the selector. If the space between bullets is too big, you simply can lower the line height for the marker. When it comes to positioning the bullet, you could wrap the list items with extra markup, but that's not ideal. I find the most reliable way to position the bullet is to tweak the SVG itself. We wrap all the SVG elements with a G tag to group them all together. Apply a transform to the G tag, shift the icon with a translate. If you experience clipping, which happens when you shift the content outside of the view box, scale it down to 0.5 or 50% of the original size and center the scaling by applying a transform origin center. Note that the order of the scale and translate can create different results. So play around with these too. Now that you have all the tools to size and position your CSS bullet, you may need to adjust a few numbers to get it just right. If you need more control than this, you'll need to override the default bullet behavior. I'll go over that in the future and I hope you join me.